We're coming down the home stretch of season one in the Bulls franchise. Only a few weeks remain in the regular season and the games are really starting to count. Today we get our first look at a really tough Eastern Conference opponent, the Cleveland Cavaliers. We play them twice back to back in Cleveland. Last episode, we simulated through and past the All-Star Weekend. And it was a fun one, but it wasn't without some bad news, as at the end of the episode, Drew Holiday went down with an ankle injury, leaving us without our starting point guard for an extended period of time. We will be missing our top playmaker and defender against a Cavaliers squad that's very balanced, very complete. Their guards can score, their bigs can defend, can block shots and switch. It is going to be a true test of this team's resilience. But we sit six games ahead of the Cavs in the standings, a comfortable lead in first place. Donovan Mitchell can put up points in a hurry, but we've got our own guy who can do the same thing, as Zach Levine's shot has been falling at a high clip as of late. Bulls wearing their black alternates once again, and we're off and running in Cleveland. Isaac Okoro to Jaron Allen, Evan Mobley down low. Williams forces him to pick up his dribble. Allen cuts around Nikola Vucevic and lays it in. Dosunmu, the starter in place of Holiday. Hard to imagine the offense is gonna run the same way without him as DeRozan isolates and spins and scores. I'm expecting DeRozan and Levine to have to create a lot more for themselves. Donovan Mitchell didn't have to right there. DeMar hits Vooch on the baseline cut. Evan Mobley going behind the back, but he can't finish. Cavs have it again, and they want Mobley again. Posting up on the block. Turns around, hits the shot. And he's got a few inches on Pat Williams. Williams hits the three. Bulls take the lead early. The shifty Darius Garland navigates around the screen from Allen. Gives it to him inside. Allen is fouled, hits the free throws. The Sunmu guarded by Darius Garland. He zips it to a wide open Vucevic, who's fouled by Allen. Free throw is good to tie the game at eight. Donovan Mitchell all on his own. Left side of the floor. Getting sticky with the dribble moves. Blocked by Vucevic. Dosunmu in transition. Being patient. Blowing by Garland for the dunk. He had 15 points in the last game, and he's looking to follow it up with another solid performance. The miss from Donovan Mitchell. DeRozan, a pick and roll, finds Vucevic. Rolling to the basket, he's fouled, and he hits one of two at the line. Open three again for Mitchell. It again rattles out. He's one for five early. Pick and roll to Patrick Williams inside. Bulls with a little run, and Darius Garland ends it. DeRozan, contested by two Cavaliers up close. Vucevic with a mismatch, nails the hook shot over Darius Garland. Bulls six for seven from the field. Offense is humming. Mobley open at the free throw line. Can't hit that one. DeRozan guarded well by Isaac Okoro. Misses the fadeaway. Ricky Rubio. Oh, he turned around Ayo Dosunmu. What a move from the veteran. Hamadou Diallo, the new Free agent signee, this is that shot. And this is our first look at the young athletic wing. 
Alec Burks, a new acquisition for the Cavs at the trade deadline. He gets to the free throw line, and that's the second foul on Levine. Cavaliers definitely upgraded, trading Karis Levert for him. Javon Carter finds an open Dalen Terry. Three in and out, rebound Hamadou Diallo. Nice hustle from him. Pat Williams guarded by George Niang. Gets all the way to the basket, spinning and scoring. Niang hits a tough shot of his own. Offense being run through Williams as he's the only starter out there on the court. Gets his rebound and misses two straight right there. Alec Burks guarded by Dalen Terry. He's blocked. Bulls ball. DeMar DeRozan fouled by Allen. And DeMar hits the free throws. Ricky Rubio, another nice move from him, getting to the line. Second foul on DeRozan. DeMar staying in the game and hitting from the elbow. Alec Burks throws a weak pass that's stolen by Markeith Morris. DeRozan wants a quick bucket, but the Cavs get back on defense. Dalen Terry open off the screen, knocks down the three. When Terry's shot is on, he is our best bench player. He's really fun to use, but he misses that shot. Bulls have played good defense in the quarter, but they can't guard Ricky Rubio. Second quarter as Dalen Terry cleans up a miss and puts it in. Nice step back shot from Darius Garland, averaging 27 and 11 at home, wow. Why he wasn't in the All-Star game, I have no idea as Vucevic loops around the screen for an uncontested layup. Nice play, nice wrinkle out of the offense. The off-balance shot from Isaac Okoro. Morris hands off to Ayodo Sunmu who loses the ball. Mitchell taking his time, pulling up for three. He was scoring almost 34 points per game before the All-Star break. Absolutely explosive. Levine off the double screen, finds space, but he misfires. Darius Garland inside. It's the shot over Markeith Morris. Another double screen for Zach Levine. He collapses the defense out to Ayodo Sunmu, wide open from the mid range. Mitchell stops, pops, and scores. Bulls lead only one now. Levine coming down the elevator screen, but nothing there. Once a screen from Morris, rejects it. Fades away over Mitchell, tough shot. Wow. Mobley shoots over the backboard and it falls. Another elevator for Levine, this time he's open and he hits it. That's a fun play, I think I'm gonna use that more. Dosunmu, the main guy guarding Mitchell. And he had no chance there. Dosunmu hands off to Dalen Terry. Up top, Levine on the wing, the screen from Vucevic. Levine inside, drops it off to Vuce. Beautiful pick and roll wizardry. You don't think of Levine as a playmaker, but he does it there, and Dalen Terry backs his man down and scores. Bulls up six again as Mitchell steps into a smooth shot. Bulls take timeout to give their players a rest. Marco Simonovic enters. And he's gonna back down Isaac Okoro and score. 
Simonovic definitely plays above his rating as he contests the shot there, forcing the miss from Garland. Ball being batted around on the ground. Bulls have it, and Okoro steals it back. He's in the starting lineup for one thing, and that's to play defense. Mobley can't finish in traffic. DeRozan, quick pass inside to Marco Simonovic, who's blocked by Jarrett Allen. Terry with the timely cut, and Williams delivers him the ball. Mitchell continuing to isolate on Dosunmu, and Dosunmu sends that shot back. Cavs with the ball. Darius Garland sinks the sweet floater off two feet. Terry finds DeRozan, guarded by Okoro. Drop steps and misses. DeRozan three for eight from the field. Mitchell inside to Evan Mobley. Williams doing his best to stop him and nice defense there. But we keep losing the ball. Cavs keep poking it out. Garland goes all the way and drains another floater. Chicago with a four point lead. Orcoro hounding DeRozan, forcing another miss. Rebound DeRozan. Allen gets in the way of that one. Garland behind the screen, drains the three. DeRozan trying to shoot out of his slump, but the physical Cavs defense making an impact. Cavs whipping it around. Mitchell guarded by Williams. Williams goes under on the screen, and Mitchell makes him pay. Io wants a screen from Marco. The give, and Allen comes out of nowhere to block that shot. Mitchell behind the back, floater in transition. And just like that, Bulls down four. DeRozan finally gets an open look and hits the shot. Mitchell, another three, no good this time. And we have a chance to tie it up. Dosunmu gets to the free throw line. Both free throws good. Time winding down. Allen well defended by Simonovic. And we head to the locker room tied at 49. This Cavs offense got off to a slow start, but they can get hot quickly. And they show that at the end of the second quarter. Mitchell and Garland are basically impossible to handle without an elite defender like Drew Holiday. And Dosunmu's doing his best, but Mitchell is definitely getting what he wants out there as he's got 16 points at halftime. It's a block party as both teams have four blocks already and Jared Allen has more than anyone else on either team. Levine to Vucevic, he's bodied up by Allen. Dosunmu driving on Garland, shot swatted out of bounds by Jared Allen. Allen is a problem on defense as the Bulls get the inbounds pass stolen Leads to a breakaway dunk for Spida. Dosunmu to DeRozan on the right wing, guarded by Okoro. And another on-ball steal for the Cavs defense. We have the white scoreboard glitch again, but just going to have to make do. By the way, it's St. Patrick's Day. I wish the Bulls green St. Patrick's Day jerseys we're still in the game, but I look for them, and unfortunately, they are not. Game tied back up at 51. Shifty cross from Mitchell hits the tough contested fall away. Williams inside to Vucevic. Tough finish, reversing under the basket. 
Allen coming, he set a screen for Mitchell. Mitchell couldn't get around it, has to pull up. Shot misses, but it's cleaned up by Jared Allen. Levine catching off the screen. Fakes spinning to the left. He pump fakes and throws it right to Darius Garland. Cavs wasting no time getting up and down the court. And one for Evan Mobley. DeRozan out to Dosunmu. Open corner three, count it. Cavs still up by one. Mitchell guarded by two guys, but it doesn't matter. DeRozan needs to do more. So does Levine, only with five points. Nice job navigating the screen and drawing the foul. That is Mitchell's fourth. And that's gonna force him to exit this game. Garland guarded by Zach. And that's Zach's third foul. Garland, of course, hit both free throws. He's one of the best in the league at doing that. Williams, a good find. Io can't hit the open three, though. Alec Burks. Nails from range. Zach Levine, you'd like to see him getting some open looks from range. DeRozan does, and he cannot hit it. 64-58, Cleveland leading. Garland gets right past Levine, leads to another open three for Alec Burks. Bulls need a timeout and they're down nine all of a sudden. They need to gain some momentum back or this could get ugly. Hamadou Diallo, not a shooter. Levine inside to Williams, sent back emphatically again by Allen. Williams guarded by Niang. Dosunmu cutting to the basket. Williams finds him. And he was short on the layup. Levine on an island against Garland and he looks lost out there. Garland is too quick, too skilled. Levine, not so much on the defensive end. Dosunmu throws it away. And this third quarter is not going well so far. Darius Garland inside to Jared Allen for the double clutch reverse dunk. 13 point game all of a sudden. Another turnover, the steal out of the air by Alec Burks. Darius Garland, an open look in transition, makes it count. Bulls can't buy a bucket. Williams, no good from the corner. Rebound Dosunmu, but he stepped out of bounds. Garland for three once again. Nine points in the quarter for Garland. 18 point game and it's like playing the Warriors. You think for a second you might beat him, but then the third quarter comes around. 20 point game now. DeRozan taking out his frustration with the dunk. DeRozan with it again. Vucevic pick and roll. Layup is good. Garland fouled by DeRozan. That's his third. A hard foul by Alec Burks. And DeRozan making his living behind the charity strike. Burks sizing up Dalen Terry. Trying to lull him to sleep. He drives right around him. Soft touch on the floater. Bulls in desperation mode. They throw the long pass to Terry, who scores and one before the defense can get set. 15 point game, third quarter winding down. Free throw is good from Nikola Vucevic. Back down to 13 and Max Struess came over from the Heat in free agency and he's a sniper. 
Diallo in the corner guarded by Evan Mobley. Vucevic inside and flailing and missing the layup. Misses that one and it's a 16 point game after three. Cavs dominated that third quarter. Bulls struggling defensively without Drew Holiday. And another floater drops in for Donovan Mitchell. Vucevic fouled by Ricky Rubio, and Vucevic is the first player on our team to 20 points. Mobley cuts, receives, and scores. Now DeRozan spins around the young defensive star and scores himself. Bulls need a furious comeback. Alec Burks outside to Max Struess. Again makes him pay for leaving him open. The turnover again for Dosunmu, and he's not the same playmaker that we're used to in Drew Holiday. Bulls fans want tacos as DeRozan slams it in. 97-75. DeRozan attacking the rack, blocked again by Allen. He just can't stop blocking shots. Mobley another steal. Mitchell out in front of everyone, pulls up in transition for three, and I think that might be the nail in the coffin. 26 point game, Dean Wade joins in hitting a three. Zach Levine finds an open Patrick Williams off the flare screen, and that one's good. Garland guarded by Levine inside. Mitchell open behind the arc again. Nothing but net. And Coach Donovan has pulled the plug. Third team in the game. Owner out the team. Gets his welcome to the NBA moment from Darius Garland. The team making his NBA debut after surprising everyone at the Rising Stars Challenge. He's got the ball and he splits Allen and Struess for his first career assist. And it was a nice one. The no-look pass to Torrey Craig. And hopefully that's the first of many. I'm rooting for him. But simulating to the end, we lose by 30 points. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to score with Owner Route Batim. So we've got our work cut out for us. We're not the same team without Drew. And we're going to have to make some adjustments. Dosunmu had six turnovers to only three assists. That's not going to cut it. Meanwhile, 64 points given up to Garland and Mitchell. Six blocks from Jared Allen. And the Cavs dominated. They only had one turnover. They shoot 59% and they outscore us by 30 in the second half. But there's always next time. And we play them two days later in the same building. It's a much closer game at the end of the third quarter, and we are up by six. I want to make sure we win this game, so I'm jumping in. Levine with the ball. Draws the foul from Darius Garland. Misses the first free throw. Makes the second for his 13th point. Amadou Diallo in the game, fourth quarter. Throws it away to Jared Allen. Isaac Okoro, break away, and Dalen Terry got back to foul him. Five point game now. Pick and roll inside to Marko Simonovic. Gets Jared Allen in the air, laying it in. Max Struess threw it into Dalen Terry's back. Diallo doesn't get the foul call there. I still haven't scored a point with him. Isaac Okoro the other way, dunks it in. DeRozan wants a post catch. Guarded by Max Struess. The push shot is good. We just need to keep the lead. We just need to trade buckets. 
Shot inside, good by Jared Allen. Nine minutes to go. Isaac Okoro reaches in and they call that a shooting foul. And DeRozan misses his fourth free throw of the game. DeRozan and Levine both not playing amazing, but we're still up by four. Simonovic pokes it free and the hustle by Terry to pick it up. Simonovic open from the mid range. No good. Donovan Mitchell traveled and it goes uncalled. Darius Garland to Max Struess over DeMar DeRozan. The three no good. Levine steps into a transition three. The assist from Hamadou Diallo. Garland to Allen inside. Contested by Simonovic and I really like his defense and his length. Something that we don't really have in Vucevic and Drummond. DeRozan coming off the double down screen. Wide open mid-range shot is automatic. D. Mitch guarded by Terry and Simonovic and he scores over both of them. Mitchell guarded by Terry, finds space and drills it from range. Over the arm of Marco Simonovic. And the Bulls lead is cut to four. Dosunmu, the backdoor cut, receives the ball from DeRozan and lays it in. Mitchell, speedy, steps back, no good. What a put back by Evan Mobley. Levitating, catching, and squaring his elbow up in midair. As Allen swats another one effortlessly. Garland inside finds Allen guarded by two guys and he was in the lane for too long. That gives the Bulls the ball and DeRozan finds Dosumu on another cut. Allen with the dunk over DeRozan and Vucevic lays it in on the other end. Okoro gets the screen from Allen. Allen fouled hard by DeRozan. Free throw well off the mark. Pat Williams backing down Isaac Okoro. Missing, rebounding, and scoring. Pulls up seven, four minutes remaining. The easy lay-in from Evan Mobley. Zach Levine. Cuts back door, draws the foul, and the Bulls have two quality Eastern Conference games coming up against the Knicks and the Raptors. Levine makes both free throws count. The miss from Mitchell. DeRozan for three, no good. Mitchell guarded by Levine, seeing blood. Mitchell spinning, rejected by Patrick Williams, right to the hands of Jared Allen, who is fouled. But a highlight reel block by Patrick Williams. Levine, a quick spin move, gets to the line again. And that is Donovan Mitchell's fifth. Eight point game. Williams screens for DeRozan. Vucevic rolls to the basket, lays it in over Allen. Cavs need a timeout, and we're playing much better this time around. Shows that these two teams are probably pretty evenly matched. Vucevic forces the miss from Jared Allen there. Two and a half minutes to go. Dosunmu squares and hits from the corner. Oh, Mitchell hits the sham god on Zach Levine and gets to the floater. My goodness. One of the prettiest moves in the game. Love when someone breaks that move out. Ayo finds an open Nikola Vucevic, gets around Allen, slams it in. 11 point game with 90 seconds to go. 
And this one's over. DeRozan, still not over. The blowout the other day. No sportsmanship there as he hits the shot, making it an 11-point win for the Bulls. So we split these two games against Cleveland, and we have one more meeting coming up. Dosunmu played a lot better with 19 points and 8 assists. Another interesting random event that just happened, Benedict Matherin. He's a 75-79 to 79 overall player, averaging over 15 points per game. And because of that, he gets a confidence boost. Plus 5 to all of his shooting attributes. And it's going to be cool to see how he develops and how good he is when he's in his prime. We fall to the Detroit Pistons, only scoring 90 points. Not a good look. Not liking the point guard play without Holiday. So I decided to give Dalen Terry a secondary position of point guard. It's nice to have a Swiss Army knife like Terry on the team who can play the one through four and uh, just trying new things and seeing what works. We might have to prepare to make do without Holiday until the playoffs as a six to eight week timetable can mean a lot of different things. But we actually beat the New York Knicks a nice game from Nikola Vucevic. We follow it up with a 14-point win over the Heat. And Levine and DeRozan combined for 60. Scouting is winding down as the regular season is winding down. And a few more interesting finds. Burke Buyuktansel, a Turkish wing who plays ball at UCLA, looks to be a high-potential project. London Johnson, another high potential guy. Really like that shooting upside. Omaha Bilyeu has a ceiling of DeMontis Sabonis, according to this scouting report. And he's still one of my favorite all-around prospects. He's just good at everything. Levine's 28 points and 11 rebounds aren't enough to beat the Toronto Raptors. We lose another, this time to the Sixers. And that puts us at 52 and 22 with eight games remaining in the season. Checking in on our injured players, Andre Drummond. We've been without him this episode, but he is close to returning. The Boston Celtics are surging. Last I checked, they were the four seed. They're now the two seed. Still three and a half games behind us, but we've got two crucial meetings with them in our final three games of the season. I wanted to check in on some stats around the league. Luka Doncic, currently the league leader in points per game, and Namar DeRozan is top 10 with 25 and a half. Brunson, Williamson, and Edwards all in the top 10. All impressive leaps for them. And Zach Levine down at number 22 with 22.8 points per game. Andre Drummond led the league in rebounds per game, playing eight less minutes per game than Robert Williams. Drew Holiday, of course, the leading assist man in the league. Couple that with 1.8 steals, which is good for second in the league, behind only the rookie Scoot Henderson. Walker Kessler tied with Jaron Jackson and Mitchell Robinson for the lead in blocks. And Robinson also leads the league in field goal percentage, by a wide margin. Steph Curry leads everyone with 4.83 pointers made per game, and Zion Williamson has been getting to the line more than anyone else. Williamson's numbers haven't been that much different from previous years, but the main difference is 71 games played, by far the most he's ever played in a year. Jokic led the league in player efficiency rating, and this was actually a down year for him. The Rosen had a solid 24.8, good for 19th in the league. Luka Doncic looks to be running away with the MVP award, and Scoot Henderson at the top of the Rookie of the Year ladder. Walker Kessler, Mitchell Robinson duking it out for Defensive Player of the Year, and TJ McConnell's near 10 assists off the bench make him the front runner for Sixth Man of the Year, and Jalen Duran 
A first-time All-Star made a huge leap and he will likely be rewarded for it. I plan on checking periodically to see if any records are broken throughout the sim. And there hasn't been, but Cameron Johnson came pretty close, hitting 12 threes not too long ago on March 31st. Pretty hard to believe that 14 is the most turnovers anyone's ever gotten, as it seems like Westbrook gets 10 turnovers all the time, but Giannis came pretty close with 12 turnovers on January 4th. Another look at the standings, and the Celtics have won 10 straight. I think they definitely have Jason Tatum back by now, and they are a formidable opponent. And since they don't have Drew Holiday, they still have Robert Williams and Malcolm Brogdon. So that means they're starting Kristaps Porzingis at the power forward. But anyway, they are trending up and we are trending down. And they're gunning for that number one seed. Those matchups against the Celtics at the end of the season are going to be really interesting. It's unclear yet who will be playing in the first round of the playoffs. But it looks to be a five-team race between the Sixers, Magic, Bucks, Pacers, and Nets. Obviously, the Bucks, surprising to see them so low down there. But they have really struggled to gel, and it's been a disappointing year for them. The Heat have fallen off a cliff, by the way, at 28 and 47. They struck out on the Damian Lillard sweepstakes, and they have not recovered. Over in the West, the Lakers still have the number one seed with the Grizzlies and Warriors trailing, and the Clippers number four. And that makes me think, where the hell was LeBron James in the All-Star game? Is this the first All-Star game he's missed since his rookie year? I mean, his scoring is down, sure, but he's still leading the best team in the conference. Seems like a major snub to me. The Kings still under 500 after the Markinen trade. The Blazers look like they will sneak into the play-in without Damian Lillard. And the Super Team Suns never found their rhythm. And overall, it looks like the Eastern Conference is the stronger conference this season. That brings us to the end of this episode. Next one is going to be the regular season finale. The Hawks are a solid team that could give us some trouble, but I'm especially excited about those last three games of the season against our two biggest threats. The 2K scheduling AI usually sucks, but they've set up some good drama for the end of this season. I can't lie about that. But thank you so much to those who watch. I work really hard on this project, and I hope it shows in my work. I hope it grows into something even cooler as time goes on. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have a regular season to finish and a championship to contend for in Season 1. I cannot wait for what's in store for this team and for my channel, so thank you to all my supporters. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Recommend me to a friend if you want. And make sure to come back for the next one. I'll see you there.